Nature sure is healing. This little man really just waddled on over here and then chewed on my little baseboard. Big ounce. Uncle Ben cured my depression. Kiss on the lips after I kiss your hand, huh? Good evening, everybody. Well, everybody, the time has finally come. This weekend, I am going to be rehoming a lot of our Muscovy ducks, if not most of them, including Darth Sidious and Angel Wing, of course. Our precious little Bing Bong, who, although I've spent a lot of time with her, has never really quite warmed up to me, but that's okay. Darth Sidious has been a fun man to have here on the property, and we've had him for quite some time. He was a rescue from an abandonment situation a long time ago, I'd say about a half a year. But I'd say it's finally time we found a new home for these adorable little Muscovy ducks. Also, Darth Vader's trying to mate with the male geese, and uh, he has plenty of females, so I think it would be good for him to go to a new property. We did find a new home for all of our little babies, especially Bing Bong, with plenty of land, lots of acres, with a nice big pond. We should actually be able to get some clips of them in their new home as well. Now you may be thinking, Uncle Ben, then you will have no ducks. Chances are we'll still have this little adorable little bean. But you're right, we will probably have very few, if any, ducks left. But might I pose a question to you all? Is me having no ducks here such a bad thing? After all, this is a rescue ranch where we take the animals that have been abandoned or neglected and we find better homes for them, even if that place isn't here. Also, Morgan and Queen have this really interesting relationship where if something like a coyote is in the field, uh, Queen will run out after it and Morgan will fly out after Queen. Queen will just bark at the coyotes to keep them away and Morgan will just honk at the coyotes to keep them away. It's honestly incredible. Queen came out here to bark at a coyote that was right in that field and Morgan just went ahead and ran right after it. Look, she's doing it again. Morgan just follows Queen around everywhere she goes whenever she wants to bark at something. And while I do love our Muscovy ducks, I think they're very precious and adorable. We've got about seven of them left and I think they're all going to make amazing little boys at our friend's new farm. I will be hanging on to these call ducks because they're fun little educational animals. I will be hanging on to Remington for the same reason. He was our pardoned turkey. I've rehomed his brother to another sanctuary with a lot more land. And Donald Trump, as he was named by the homeless people in Waco, is going to stay here as well because he's an adorable little man. He also honks and protects us from the animals, but he's not too annoying. He's actually pretty respectful. But we will still have a lot of ducks. We are still gonna have a lot of adorable little baby boys. I am still going to have Remington here, but it's time to bring Darcidius and his new wives to a new amazing place with quite a bit of space at that. Vinny is still here on this neighboring property, enjoying all of the lush free grass over there. But Bing Bong loves all of you guys. Hey, it's me, Bing Bong, not Uncle Farmer Dad Ben speaking. I just want to say thank you guys. I love you. And uh, thanks for loving me back. Uncle Ben cured my depression. I like to transport ducks in these storage containers with plenty of hay, but make sure there's ventilation. Carson is going to be taking Darcidius and his wife. They have a nice large area of land with a nice pond. And this adorable little baby who's very broody is going to be going to her new home where they're going to be able to hopefully make lots of little adorable little babies. Well, epic Fortnite, Minecraft, imposter, Amoga, sussy, runescape, pranksters. It would seem that we no longer have Darcidius here at the Urban Rescue Branch. But we still have a Kyle, we still have a Kevin, and we still have an adorable little Karen. We also still have Remington over here and the baby. And of course, Donald Trump, the Chinese goose. Every one of these animals is a sanctuary animal. I totally had a cardinal in this thing yesterday that uh, just kind of got stuck in here. I leave these open and then birds, sometimes songbirds and doves and stuff will get in here to peck on the ground and then all of a sudden they'll get stuck. But right now, old Uncle Ben, ooh, that's Kevin's little noise. Right now, old Uncle Ben is just cleaning up his property with a broken hand. But at least now I can hold the phone up without feeling any pain. I don't know if you guys can see this over here, but these are all native doves that just kind of hang out here all the time. They come out here and then they try and take some of our feed, which is okay. I don't mind feeding the local wildlife. These doves are really small though. They're either Inca doves or common ground doves. The grass is slowly coming in, but it's gonna go down to 14 degrees in a few days, so I don't expect it to do very well. We still have our little queeb, all of our little call ducks. We still have this little Muscovy duck, who I will now name Baquanda. 
We have little Morgan here, who's my adorable little baby man. Morgan is the protector of the chicken. Morgan is also the protector of Queen. Morgan and Queen hang out all the time. And then whenever Queen runs out there into the back field to chase off coyotes or a fox or any other kind of predator, Morgan will just fly after her and start barking too. But now that there's less ducks, there will be less poop on the picnic table. I decided to keep this adorable little baby for now. Uh, she's going to incubate those eggs. The second they hatch, I'm gonna have to grab them and bring them into a brooder. A, because I like her. She kind of just hangs out here. She's very adorable. And the fact that she picked this little area to make her nest is honestly pretty cute. There are some animals that we get every now and then on the farm that just show amazing virtue. That duck is one of them. Not every duck is good at taking care of its babies. In fact, some of them, and or actually most of them, are very, very bad at it. And here's Vinny, who likes to sometimes hang out in this little area here behind all this old fencing. By the way, how about you guys come on down to the old Urban Rescue Ranch and pay me a large sum of money for the rest of this. Uh, this is all really good fencing. You can still use it for your farm and ranch. Uh, Vinny has been using it to hang out in. Also, this is my redneck fire pit. What do you guys think? I got some marshmallows and some Grammys. It's so fun to watch the Rhea drink, you guys. Look, at them. Look how adorable they are. Aside from Kevin, look at them. Look how fun it is to just watch them. Look how they just do that little golf thing. They scoop it up and then they just put it right in their mouths. They just go scoop. Nature is healing. Nature sure is healing. Oh, go ahead and give me a bite, Kevin. You've earned it. <laughs> Such a handsome man. Come here. Let me give you a little kiss. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Well, I do think it's time for me to go in there and move some stuff around and organize things. So I was about to bust out the old riot shield. Hey guys, it's me, Ben, in his winter form. I don't wear overalls and I have a nice hat. Evan, how about you back up, sir? How's about, how about you back up, sir? How about you? Ah, oh. Ah, how's about you back up, sir? How about you back up so I can feed you and your family, huh? How about you back up? How about you back up, Kevin? See, this thing's broken. Doesn't work like it used to. It's a rotten, rotten ride shield. But thank you, Felix and Jean. I love you and I appreciate you. Ugh! Get back here, Kevin. Get back. Note how perplexed Kevin has become from this plastic airsoft ride shield. He always shield. was confused by this thing. Now note how Kevin sways back and forth, almost like the animation for a villain in a video game. Shield bash. Shield bash. Look at all the little pecs that have been ripped out of this thing i need to fix this shield bash shield bash look at this little hole you guys what do you think lives in there something does some kind of thing good morning good morning good morning children how are you today <laughs> if that isn't the baby himself hello sir how are you that's a nice little handshake you got there sir nice little handshake mr the baby how's about you give me a nice little big old kiss on the lips after i kiss your hand huh Mwah. That was a nice little kiss on the cheek for you. Wow, Poggers and Queen are really out here sniffing. But take a look at this ground, you guys. The grass is growing back real nicely. Everything's starting to look real nice. As you can see, Karen and Kevin used this as an opportunity to escape the property. That's okay, we don't need them. This can here is full of trash that I find on the property. How's about you guys stop eating my adorable little food and then uh, go back into your little enclosure. We'll eat some of the food over here, Kevin. How's about that? How's about we have some food over this way, over yonder here. But this is all you need to do, you guys. I just like to pour a little bit of this nice food. Out. Oh, oh, okay, he took my hat and then knocked into my head. That was nice. Sure, why not let all the Rhea out today? Yeah, why not let all the Rhea out today? Why not let all of them out? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, go ahead and just bite me as much as you want, Kevin, huh? How about you go back into your enclosure? This is why it's really important for us to have two gates here, you guys. Get on back, you boys, you two little turkey. Come on, get back. Go, 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 go. And you too, get back in there. Very nice, you guys. This is what it's all about. Feeding my sons a healthy, nice amount of pellets. Giving my son a little scratch on the cheek and calling it a day. That is how the Uncle Ben morning chore do. I have decided upon a very good name for this adorable little man, my son, name of Big Ounce. His name will be Big Ounce because he weighs quite a few ounces. And much like the real Big Ounce, he's very handsome, adorable, and cute. Won't mind giving him a little kiss on the head. But yeah, guys, next time I make a creature feature, it's going to be on these adorable little babies.
I always knew a little bit about prairie dogs, but not a ton. I had no idea they were as intelligent as they are, and they have an amazing vocabulary. He just loved to be pet and scratched. And if I scratch him on his belly like this, this little man loves me now. But I'm gonna be giving him a lot of nice green veggies and his wife. But it is very, very fun to watch him kind of hop around and be adorable. But I'm gonna give some of this stuff to his wife. I don't think he's ever been fed any vegetables and he is definitely not interested in these beans, but I'll keep working on them. Eventually he's gonna eat some good veggies. But I will say they haven't been speaking a lot, not as much as I'd like them to. I know that lots of other people with prairie dogs online, they'll start screaming and sing little songs and they'll start talking to each other. Mine only talk to each other in the middle of the night. But I've decided to name the boy Big Ounce and the girl's name will be, I don't know, but something very adorable and cute. But I have a little broccoli for you, queen. Here, have a broccoli. Oh, no, she did want it. She's still very shy, although she did let me pet her the other day and she did eat out of my hand. Again, it'll take a while for her to warm up to us, but I'm a patient, patient man. And I do believe that any animal can be tamed with enough love. But that's it, guys. I'm off to do my taxes. I have a lot of receipts I have to organize. If anyone following us is a CPA, please. I know this is a long shot. Please, you guys, please. This is Uncle Ben's first tax season. It's been a nightmare. What if I just made a 30 to 40 minute video where I just discuss taxes with you guys while counting all of my receipts? Would you like that, you guys? Would you like to hear all about Uncle Ben's taxes? Would you like to hear all about Uncle Ben's fun little taxes he has to do? How's about one of you guys is an accredited CPA that works with nonprofits and LLCs? Uh, would you please reach out to me? Please, you guys, I'm panicking. There's been a lot of expenditures, and I don't want to pay too much money in taxes. I've literally put everything from the business back into this, you guys, back into the content. Right back into it. Literally every penny that I've earned, I have put right back into making more videos and this house. But that's it, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be a creature feature. Ooh, I almost forgot to tell you. <laughs> this little man really just waddled on over here and then chewed on my little baseboard. He's just exploring the world. I don't blame him. Oh, did you see that? He tried to attack me. <laughs> oh, you gonna bite me? Are you gonna bite me? Are you gonna bite me? Bite me? You're not gonna bite me. You're not gonna bite me. You're not gonna bite me. You're not gonna bite me.